Let's see if I still got it. What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're making the most out of your day. My name is Connor Gall. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the vlog. Even though this is not a typical vlog, it's more of just like a talking head video. Me telling you guys a little bit about my backstory because I realize I haven't taken time on this channel to give you a little bit of history about me and why I make YouTube videos, what's brought me to this point. So I want to take some time to do that, but first, first, um, I have to apologize for not uploading last week. I said in the video two weeks ago that I was going to try and upload weekly again, and I really meant to, guys, but it's literally been so crazy this past week. There's so much happening in my life right now, and it's just like, ugh. I'm going to do my best to continue to upload consistent content, but thank you for your patience and understanding. Just in case I'm not able to upload weekly, I wanted to let you guys know like what's going on and uh, that there is going to be great content to come. I just have to get through some of this craziness. Okay, there's my life update. Now let's uh, jump into this video. So those of you who have followed me for a while now um, know that I have I started making videos a year ago, like just over a year ago um, is when I started making YouTube videos. But I had been making videos like long before then. I kind of grew up uh, with an artistic side to me, like when I was really little, um, and even in my like middle school and teenage years, I would draw a ton. Like I would do a ton of sketches, drawing superheroes and just characters that I liked from movies. It was a way for me to express myself creatively. It was like a stress reliever, and it was a way for me to exercise my imagination. And I just loved it. I would spend hours drawing. And then I remember my dad would also have this like old video camera with like the the tube lens that goes up to your eye and you like look through it and you video, right? And I would love watching these home videos of me, my brother and my sister growing up and then I decided that I wanted to make those home videos. So I would steal my dad's camera and I would make these little movies with my siblings and friends and had so much fun with it. Um, but I never had like ambition to really like do anything with it career wise. I enjoyed public speaking and so decided that I was gonna pursue uh, ministry, pursue uh, trying to be an influencer for Jesus, um, a preacher, a pastor, a missionary. And so that led me to go to Bible college for four years. Um, so I, I moved from Pittsburgh to LA, about an hour and a half north of LA, um, in the Antelope Valley, the desert of California. Uh, the Bible College was called West Coast Baptist College. Pretty, pretty small, super small, in fact. Um, only a thousand people were in attendance while I was there. But I had an incredible time there and made so many friends and memories that I wouldn't trade it for the world. I learned a lot about the Bible and I learned to uh, be a leader and how to communicate better. Um, but I never really dabbled with video or, I, and I kind of lost touch with sketching when I was in Bible college because I was around a lot of other people who were more talented than I was. And I was like, oh man, I can't, I can't compete on their level, I, I'm not as good as they are, so I decided to focus on my strengths, which at the time was was speaking in public, and I, I spent a lot of time uh, you know, just having a social life and, and working on the things that I thought that I could excel in, and the things that I wanted to pursue after college. So being creative kind of fell by the wayside for me, which I didn't notice how much I needed to create or how much of a creative or artistic side to me that I actually had in college. It's something that I've kind of recently reconnected with um, afterwards. Like I said though, in college I made a lot of really great friends and the friend that I am closest to now after well, in college and after college is Stuart. You guys know him on the vlog. He was on the last episode. Um, he's a really good friend of mine and one of my closest friends in this world. 
and Stuart has been a really awesome influence in my life um, and I'm thankful that we had that time together to hang out in college but we also were able to work together after Bible college we interned at the same church for a year at my church in Pennsylvania and it was there that I kind of got to do a couple videos for the church I picked up a camera again and learned a little bit more about editing uh, was able to just try my skills out and I didn't really enjoy it like all that much to be honest I um, I liked the creative process but there was a lot about it that I didn't like and I never saw myself as a video guy that's not what I wanted to be and so I it was fun to work on a couple projects but it, it wasn't this passion until about a year and a half later when Stuart um, turned me on to somebody on YouTube who was a vlogger you might know his name Casey Neistat. A lot of you are most likely familiar with Casey's work. If you're not, check him out. He's a massive YouTuber. When I came across Casey Neistat on Stuart's recommendation, all of a sudden, like, I was watching something that I hadn't seen since those days where I was watching those home videos with my family. I was watching somebody's awesome content who had me engaged and drawn in that wasn't like this professional cinematic level which was one of the biggest reasons why I was discouraged from doing any video work in college in college the guys who were good at video had the fancy gear they had the big stabilizers they knew all the buttons and they they were incredible editors and they could do things in post that like manipulated the picture to make it look so good almost like a Nike commercial and I was like man I could never learn that that would take so long to learn I just don't have the time but watching Casey's videos I was, I was like man like he's not doing this stuff and yet it's so engaging he has a big audience and I kind of started to think that I could do that as well so it's funny like the more that I watched Casey's content the more that I was just like man I want to do this and then that turned into a man I need to do this so at that time I was uh, living in Florida I was watching uh, more YouTube than I ever watched before I was kind of obsessed with Casey's content and I said you know what I'm going on this trip to South Africa in a couple of weeks why don't I try to vlog there and at that point it was just a way for me to to try this out to have some fun with it to be creative again and to let my friends and family stay in touch with the trip that I was going on so uh, just about a year ago like exactly a year ago um, I went to South Africa and I invested in a camera in this microphone and this tripod all this stuff and I started vlogging and I started documenting uh, the trip that I was going on and I actually got to go to the Philippines later that summer and so I thought you know what this is gonna be like a summer project I'm gonna make a couple videos over the summer and then I'll be done with it but then something happened that I didn't expect I found that I really really enjoyed making videos it was it's hard to explain right because I didn't realize um, that I had all this creativity in me that needed some sort of like release it needed to be expressed somehow and all of a sudden when I started making these videos that creativity could just like it just burst out of me and I was staying up late to finish these edits I was getting super into it I had this unbelievable work ethic that I hadn't experienced in a long time for anything else and it was it was almost intoxicating I was like obsessed with the the passion that I had for it I was obsessed with the excitement that I had for it and I started having ideas and you know you, you think about the shots and you think about the edits and you think about the story and you think about how it's gonna influence people for for good and all of a sudden I came to realize the potential that YouTube has and I came to see it not just a way to share cool videos but a way to express your thoughts and ideas and creativity on a platform that can build an audience and impact that audience. I I came to realize that I wanted to continue to do this and I wasn't sure how I was going to continue it on so I just figured you know what I'll just keep vlogging and I'll just keep uh, documenting my life but eventually I kind of started to lose steam with it because uh, you know it was awesome to make these vlogs while I was traveling and I even got to go to a third country I got to go to Macedonia last summer so I had a lot of awesome content but then I kind of came to realize oh man my my channels like a travel vlog channel and that's not exactly what I wanted it to be I wanted it to become something that I could you know inspire people encourage people and um, and uplift the name of Jesus and, and talk about my faith 
And so I started to try and think about how I could maintain this momentum and, and, and what it actually takes to make this channel make sense because there are so many vlog channels out there. Why should you watch mine over somebody else's? And it was last year, I think around like October, November, when I had an idea, when I had something that kind of brought it all together. And it's an idea that's been driving me to keep putting out content since last year. It's been an idea that honestly is a big factor into why I'm going on the world race. Okay, so the reason I went to Bible college is because I'm passionate about missions. Um, going around the world and helping people in need and sharing the gospel with those who have never heard about it before. Like that's, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to travel, uh, I want to do missions, and I want to be creative. It's kind of like those three words. Uh, creativity, travel, and influence through the, the realm of missions. Last October I got this idea to, and I started thinking, why not combine YouTube with missions? Why can't we use video to bridge the gap from the mission field back to America? Because there are so many amazing things happening in the world around us. I think we as Christian creators need to put a spotlight on the good that is happening, on the things that God is doing, on the positive things that are happening in humanity around the world. And there are so many of those things going on. We just don't know about them because nobody's taking their camera and pointing it at the people who are doing incredible things to help others around this world. So that has led into, in a big way, the world race this opportunity to travel to 11 different countries in 11 months allows me to take this camera and it's going to allow me to shine a spotlight on the people who I believe deserve it. I can't wait to share that with you and I can't wait to see what God's going to do through this idea, through this project. And I've done a lot of talking in this video but I kind of just wanted to make a raw video to share my heart let you know what's been going on in my mind and kind of like my vision for this channel. I understand that not every single viewer who watches these videos is a Christian. Um, and I, I love that. I love that uh, you have found uh, inspiration or encouragement or entertainment in this channel. Um, but I want you to know that I'm not going to back down from my faith and I'm not going to try and uh, sugarcoat it in any way. But at the same time, um, I, I want to balance it. I want to not just be somebody who, I don't know, shoves religion down your throat, but I want to live out what I believe looks like the love of Jesus in my life and I hope that that impacts you in some way, whether you're a believer or not. And if you are a believer, I just want to encourage you, like, don't be afraid to share your faith online. Please, please, we need more Christian creators to use the gifts that God has given you to impact the world around us and that's the opportunity that YouTube gives us and that's why I am a YouTuber because I see the potential and I want to, to capitalize on it to give somebody uh, a smile one day to give somebody entertainment the next and then to encourage and strengthen somebody in their faith the day after that so Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below. I read all the comments and I'd love to answer your questions. Um, if you're mad at me about something, you want to express some frustration, uh, you're welcome to do that as well. Um, and again, I know that there is uh, a lot of controversy around faith and religion, but I'm here to be a positive influence, uh, to encourage other people, and to uplift the name of Jesus. That's my MO, that's what I'm about, and I'm excited for the future of this channel. I feel like it's kind of like season two of the vlog, season two of this Connor Gall channel. Um, Thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you so much for supporting it. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, it's awesome to see this family grow and it's incredible to uh, have the feedback and the encouragement for you guys and how that helps me as a creator and inspires me to keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you, uh, God bless you, and we will see you very soon. Peace!